in today's video, um, I'm going to throw you back to the footage of this, but I just want to let you guys know, we went fishing today video, we got plants for crush, I caught nothing, my dad caught two huge bass, and yeah, that's about it, so I'm going to throw you guys to that footage, and then I'll throw you to the outro after that footage is over in 3, 2, 1, enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, you guys have been asking for more fishing videos. This is actually the same shirt I wore in my last fishing video. I'll link that somewhere up here. So we're going to be going fishing on um, a lake near me. So we got my canoe loaded up in the back, if you can kind of see back there. We got my canoe, and I'm bringing a baitcaster rod, and we're going to be just using lures. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys either when we're at the lake, and I'm going to roll a quick time lapse of us driving. Um, but if we don't catch anything, it'll still be a fun experience, and I'll still film it, guys, because it's beautiful out on the lake right now. It is a bit windy, as you guys can kind of see there. It's a bit windy, but not too bad, so nothing that we can't work with. Um, we're just bringing my canoe, and we're using some oars, because um, we don't want to use a motor. I'm just looking out for my dad. He's coming, so yeah, I'm going to do a time lapse of us driving. choppy this water is. I don't know if my camera's going to focus. It is so choppy, but it's not even that windy out, so this is going to be fun. Hopefully we catch something. I'll see you guys when we're on the boat and we're done unloading everything. So we're about to launch the boat. We just got it in there the water and everything, and then we just saw you see how choppy this water is? And look how windy it is. It was perfectly And now look at this. That little shrub growing. We are going to be getting blown around. I don't know if you guys can hear Listen to that. And also, you guys see all these things? Those are rocks. Look at this. Ready? There are tons and tons of ants all down this. Just tons of ants, guys. So, my dad just went to park the truck. I see him walking back right now. So, um, I'm going to see you guys either when we're on the beach or when we catch a fish. I mean, like, when we get out there or when we catch a fish. Uh, but, yeah, you can see those, those ants are crazy. Look at them. See you guys when we launch boat. My dad's walking over here now. You guys can just see how choppy that water is. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys when we're on the boat. Yeah, just made it out. We just anchored up. Now we're gonna start fishing. We're near this little like cove so that there's less wind than out in the open waters. Um, and we're over here and we're gonna. I'm gonna show you what I'm throwing once I get it rigged up. But I'm just gonna be fishing here for a little bit and I'll get back to you guys if I catch any fish or I'll just show you what I'm using but you guys can see we're just drifting a bit but the anchor is in so we're just going to spin in circles um you can see we're kind of spinning in a little bit of circles but you can see we're near this cove right here and yeah so now I'm going to get fishing okay guys we're out here and the, you guys can just see how beautiful this place is right now we're stuck on a sandbar so I'm going to go help my dad paddle in a second but I just want to say look at how beautiful this place is out here no fish yet but right now i'm just throwing a chartreuse spinnerbait and i was throwing a uh, worm and then i uh casted it and my only jig head my, our only jig head kind of fell off in the water so that's not fun yeah so we're out here and you guys can see there's a heron straight ahead on the bank of the water i'm zooming in so you guys can see it's gonna be blurry though you guys can kind of see him just right there Good thing I got good zoom on this camera. You guys can see him right. We got 40 times zoom. You guys can see him right there. You can see him looking for some fish on that island over there. I'm going to zoom out now. You guys can see him right over there. Wow. That's a far away from here. Good thing I got good. See, we're getting closer to that blue heron I was talking about. He's over there. But yeah. You guys can see just how Karen is over there eating a fish, guys. He just got one. And it's so funny, guys, because when blue herons are, like, not extending, they look kind of like different types of birds. It's kind of funny. Because if you look up what a baby blue heron looks like, they do not look like what this adult looks like. But you can see he's looking for some food. Water's calmed down a bit, but up here's this huge sandbar. That's why he's up there fishing off of it. 
he ain't stupid. He's trying to get the little fish off of here. And it's actually on camera, it's farther than it appears, but he's actually like kind of staring at us. He's like right there on this island right there. Like right here on camera, but I'm gonna go probably um, help paddle and then we're gonna fish another spot, but you guys can see how shallow it is. Like I could touch the bottom right now. And there's that blue heron walking over there. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys if we catch any fish or anything. There's some fellow fishermen in a boat over there, so yeah. I don't know if you guys can see, there's a turtle on this log right there. Looks to be a painted um, painted turtle or a red belly slider. I can't really tell, but you can see he's just sunning himself. It actually kind of looks more of like a snapping turtle for some weird reason, but they don't really sun themselves. And you can see just how much this water has dropped. You can see like the water lines on the rocks. It's dropped a lot, but no fish yet. Might be getting skunked, but this is still, it's still very pretty out here and it's still an enjoyable time. You can see over there. So I'll get back to you guys. Um, right there, isn't it? Oh yeah. You can see there's a turtle up there on that rock too. Over there. My camera would focus. You can see him right there. Yeah, I'll get back to you guys if um, there's something cool. How huge that it's not huge but it's a pretty decent sized bass it's just unhooking it right now you can see it's it's decent it's like three to four pounder that thing's decent mm, that's pretty, good. pretty chunky yep. we just he was just throwing a rubber worm I believe you can see how big it is he was just throwing a rubber worm and there he goes there we go. he was just throwing a rubber worm over there so I'm gonna grab my I'm gonna try to throw my crankbait or I might hook up a rubber worm in happens hey guys so we're about to head in right now but you can see we don't even have to paddle like the wind is just pushing us straight to like back there which is where we need to go like right there and it's a lot of paddling which is not fun but the good thing is the wind just pushes us along um, we haven't ca caught any other fish than the one you already saw in the last clip but I am gonna take some of this um cattail or whatever the heck you call it um, for crush coontail so I'm going to take some of this stuff. You can see that green stuff. I'm going to take some of this for crush and throw it in his tank. Um, so yeah, I'm going to grab some of that and I'll either see you when I'm at home or when like we finish loading up the boat. So yeah, I'm going to grab some of this and I'll see you guys next. Guys, my dad just caught the second fish of the day. Another decent sized bass. As you can see, pretty decent sized. My camera would focus. You can see it's a it's a pretty decent sized bass. You guys can see right there. Now we're gonna just let it go. The bite's been very slow today, but when you do catch them, they're decent sized. But like I said, like I said, I was gonna do. We got some plans for crush, and I'll catch you guys if we catch another fish or if we're heading home. I think my dad caught that on a worm, I believe. On I don't yeah. So he caught it on a uh, worm, so plastic worm. So yeah, we're just gonna keep. We're just drifting, kind of. And it kind of just pulling us to where we need to go anyway. So we're just going to sit here. We're just going to keep on drifting. And until we catch another fish or until we finally get to shore. We just got back on land. And um, my dad caught two fish. I caught zero. Um, it was really not a good day to go fishing. You can just see how windy it is out here. You can probably hear it through the mic, obviously. Um, but it was just wasn't a really good day to go fishing. Um, but my dad caught two bass. You guys saw that on camera. Um, so yeah, um, normally I'm not a bad fisherman, but uh, today I just couldn't catch him, I guess. So uh, yeah, um, I don't know what happened with this whole situ situation, but I'll see you guys at home. We still have the plants for crush right here, but just a little bit uh, dried out, but don't worry though. They're still fine, and then I picked up a lily pad. I might just throw the plants back. I don't really know, guys. When we get home though, um, Okay hey guys, just put the plants in Crush's thing. Now the fish who are hiding from him have a place to hide and now Crush also has a place to hide. Don't worry, this plant will be gone pretty soon because Crush loves to eat his plants. That's his favorite thing to do. You can see it and it looks nice and natural for now. Um, don't worry, I did look up. These are turtle safe and I did get them from a very clean pond. Well, actually snapping turtles live. If you didn't know, Crush was a wild snapping turtle. He was this small, wasn't eating food, showed up at my grandma's doorstep. She took him in. 
um, which never do with wild animal please just release it because now you get stuck with the snapper turtle and I'm not necessarily stuck but if I were to release him he probably wouldn't survive she so now like I'm saying that got off topic real quick what I'm saying is these are all safe is what I'm practically saying also I had these drying out of water for like at least like, two hours on the boat um so yeah um yeah I'll s make sure you guys if you guys did enjoy today's video like I said drop a like um smash that subscribe button and if you're new here and if you want to join the Mizu family smash that subscribe button and please drop a like and yeah by the way i just wanted to clarify normally i do catch fish um, i wasn't going to post this video because i didn't catch any fish but i'm not going to be selfish get it <laughs> um and i'm just going to post it so my dad can get his glory Glor glory and yes my dad gets to catch two decent sized bass um, I got a few bites. I actually did get a hit on a top part of frog. It was a big blow up, but I missed it. So, um, yeah. Um, so, I'm still going to post this video. And like I said, if you guys want to see more fishing videos, drop a comment down below. And I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you do your research. And I'm out.